on this episode of Average Man's Motor Media. Welcome back, everybody. So we're back down here with Snow Badger. I got the new coolant overflow on there and just routed it right down there and just bolted it up. Like I said in the other video, I am going to just change this whole wiring system up. I want to put it somewhere else, maybe like run it everything inside the car. But for now, this is where it's going to be. So I got that on and I'm going to go ahead and back it out. We're gonna let it idle and make sure that everything is gonna be good to go with the car. And then we're gonna go driving around just like I said I was going to. So let's go ahead and get this thing out and idle and bring it up to temp and make sure it's still good. All right, we're cruising Snow Badger and everything's looking good.
off the highway. So I'm gonna go to that just to make sure everything is gonna be good to go with it. So let's see. It's at 233, 234. See if we let it idle if it goes down. Yeah, now it's going down. I wonder if the water pump can't keep up or something. But now it dropped down to 233. All right, I'm gonna get driving, get back to the house, let it cool down again see what happens do some more research in here and turn it off yep it's getting way too hot all right it's dropping back down yeah it's dropping back down now Let's let this thing idle and cool down a bit. So that was at 140, <coughs> and now it's dropping down. I don't know what's going on. Uh, why it's getting too hot? Like, like there's airflow going through, and it still continues to go up. I don't know if I need to get a better water pump that's going to circulate faster. Maybe that one can't keep up with the RPMs or something. I don't know, but I gotta, I gotta figure it out. <laughs> you know how exciting that was to actually drive Snow Badger around, and it didn't really overheat at all. Like that was great. Like we finally figured it out. We got it down, and we're driving. Like. We're driving Snow Badger finally. Like, it's been almost two years. I know it's been a year since the build. Actually, 
I think it's been about a year, maybe a year and a half. But we finally got to drive snow by as you saw. And you know what the cool thing is? Is that white smoke you saw is the breather for a crankcase pressure. So the two breathers that you see is this one right here. And this one actually shot oil out. As you can see, it's like oily around my fill. And I actually thought this was loose and there was oil coming out of this. But there was also oil sitting down here. I cleaned it up. But that means it's coming out of this breather here, which is supposed to because I'm running an open circuit and just venting it. But the smoke that you saw came from this breather. And that just came straight up and went over because I looked at the video and it was not coming from the front, but from the rear there. So that's great. That's fantastic. And then a reason why it's so great that the crankcase is breathing, because if you've seen this diagram over here, uh, if you see the bottom left where it says oil pan, well, if you see that tube that's coming up along the left-hand side, it's a PVC. Well, I don't have a PVC because mine are going kind of going around the piston rings and then I have mine coming up into the valley cover and then those two ports where I showed you. Is where the gases are uh, going to the atmosphere. Usually most guys will run an oil cash can onto that, but I don't have one because I'm just going to vent it to the atmosphere. So the engine is breathing and the engine is venting that crankcase pressure, which is fantastic news. So that's another reason why it is great that that is actually happening. Where are you going? Cold over there, so I didn't want to skip. Where are you going? Anyway, so okay, so like I was saying, they're good, but uh, yeah, so by your rant. I know, I see, I see. Hey, come here, come on, and come here with me. All right, so now I got booted here, but yeah, snow badger ran great. Um, we had no problems in that. Like I said, that white smoke is a good thing because it only happened under boost, which makes sense because the pressure is building up under boost. And then when I got out of throttle, it went away. Here, you want to get down? So that it's fantastic news that that's working. So that means I can drive snow badger around way more now and actually see what happens and maybe get the draggy in there and do some draggy data. But you know what, for now, stay tuned because the next video is gonna be a banger. We're gonna be driving Snow Badger and get some draggy data. So don't forget to subscribe and like. See you on the next one. Peace.